It's me, Rocky. Is that even good? Samaritan, oh, Rocky. I don't think it's good. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking Samaritan, the brand new superhero movie starring Sylvester Stallone, directed by Julius Avery. I was excited for this. My impression, it just wasn't good. Oh, Rocky. So a young boy learns that a superhero who was thought to have gone missing after an epic battle 20 years ago may in fact still be around. This movie is PG-13 for strong violence and strong language. Like I said before, Sylvester Stallone, yes, but Julius Avery, director of Overlord, one of the biggest surprises of that year. I was so pumped to see what he was going to bring to the superhero genre and to a movie that feels like it wanted to be rated R with everything in it, but for some reason took that PG-13 route. Now, is it because we are dealing with a young boy played by Javon Walton who plays Sam here? We kind of start the film seeing things through his perspective, understanding that his obsession with Samaritan as he tells us this story, this battle that went down between Samaritan and Nemesis, uh, this could lead him to discover that Samaritan is still alive and that's when he runs across Sylvester Stallone's Joe who is just a, an average guy who's doing an average job that's what it seems like on its surface and their interactions while few and far in between you can tell there's a little bit of chemistry a little bit of a spark between those two characters but uh, Sam is a character who is getting himself into some rough situations and falling in with the wrong crowd you'll recognize our guy from Game of Thrones here Cyrus is the villain and he surrounds himself with a very interesting group of villainous sidekicks and their goal is is to be the best villains around and to bring back the idea of Nemesis and um, something else that wasn't really made clear. They're, they're there to be bad guys. The movie makes that very obvious and evident. And I, I like that performance. I felt as if there could have been more to do, right? You get that feeling every time he's on screen that, oh, this is the bad guy. But why should I be afraid? And what is his role in this entire thing? We know he's the leader, but is there more to this story? I felt like there was. Let's get into Stallone as Joe, who this young boy believes to be Samaritan in this film. Uh, look, he does a nice job in moments. I felt the chemistry with this young boy. It's just really cool seeing Sylvester Stallone in a role like this. There were times where the performance was coming off a bit stiff. I don't know if I chalk that up to the dialogue or just the way that he was playing certain situations, but... I did start to feel that as we progressed, especially when you look at the fight scenes and you can't fully blame him for this. He is slowing down, but it's still nice to see Stallone in a role like this. It's also nice to see a character that has more there than what it seems like on its surface. And we do get a bit more with this character than we do anyone else because a lot of these elements in this film... They're surface level. They don't get the exploration needed. Uh, but Joe is someone that finally starts to peel back those layers at the end, which is much appreciated. And the film as a whole, conceptually, I think works extremely well. And the highlight for me, other than that main relationship and trying to find out if Samaritan really is, uh, you know, actually alive, it's the score. I found the score to be rousing, entertaining here. I was enjoying myself when some of these action scenes were happening because of that score, but also because the action itself, it's handled quite well. It kind of throws me back to some of those, you know, late 90s, early 2000s action movies, and specifically the early 2000s superhero movies. We're talking story and everything, but when you look at the action, even though there are quick cuts, uh, it was kind of brutal. And it's brutal to the level to where I'm sitting back thinking, again, why is this PG-13? Because the brutality in here and a couple of the curse words thrown around, it just felt as if this movie had restraints on it and it couldn't fully break free and, you know, be the film that it needed to be. It did feel like a movie that started to cater more towards kids, especially when we get some of these moments with the villains, which, which just started to become over the top and ridiculous. I get it if you like that 90s cheese, that's appreciated, but when you have villains giving a rousing villainous speech and the crowd starts to join in and scream, yeah, and people are like randomly coming out of buildings, joining in, the guy's just, you know, mumbling nonsense, you don't even know what the motivations are. I had no clue 
what the motivations were for these villains. And I know those townspeople didn't know, uh, but they're still cheering. They're still screaming. The extras in this movie, the way that they were handled was really funny. And, and it's odd because I think Julius Avery is a really good director. But when you have these moments where something happens in front of a bunch of random civilians and everyone pulls their phone out at the same time, Okay, I made sure I watched to see what was actually happening because it just felt like the NPCs, you know, people that just aren't actually alive. It feels like they're being controlled by an AI and then people just start cheering. And and I, I don't really know what was going on with some of the extras in this film. And I don't really know what was going on with some of those side villains in this film because there are moments where one villainous character in particular, uh, she's dead serious and it feels like she's, you know, almost intimidating to a level but then there's another scene where she's completely over the top and like shouting nonsense. And I'm like, ah, who are you? Are you a different character? I know it's the same person. There are also some turn your brain off moments, right? There are numerous scenes in the film where there are people arguing and then one of them walks away and refuses to listen to the person screaming. I think that happened three to four times. Uh, there was another moment in the movie where someone is talking about what's going on on the news and they turn the TV on, and it just so happens that the newscast is talking about exactly what he needed us to see as an audience. I'm like, okay, some one-liners from Sly that I did appreciate. That's the kind of cheese that I like these kinds of movies to lean into. Stay consistent on that level. Uh, and even though the fight scenes are really good at times, there is a scene at the end that involves fire and a background that's, you know, there's a lot happening it just doesn't look good. It looks like they're in front of a green screen, and that, that happens often now in films. I just, I do point it out when I spot it. There's one plot point that I will not dive into. I won't even start to say what it is, but it is one that I saw coming from about 10 miles away at the beginning of the film. Now, part of me thinks if they would not have done it, then it just would have made sense the way that they built it up. But in turn, the way they built it up made it really obvious and predictable. And I'm not kidding, I saw it within five minutes of the movie. Um, so it was both unfortunate, but also I don't know what else they would have done. So it didn't bother me as much as it will other critics. Before I give you my score, let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite Sylvester Stallone role? Why is it Rocky? And uh, if you wanna drop that thumbs up, that would help this video. Uh, Stallone thrives in these types of roles, but Samaritan is not able to feel as fresh and creative as it intends. Beyond its fun action, the spark is missing. Now there is fun to be had in this film, but it just doesn't fully deliver. I'm going right down the middle with the 50%, but I will say uh, you can check it out because there are some nice moments and kids, families may enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Did you enjoy this movie or are you planning on checking it out this weekend? All right guys, see you soon.